coffee and conversation. That was our bank back in the day. It's just breakfast at a diner on a holiday morning to most. But for Pat and Bill Wade, it's anything but. There's a part of your life that runs up to that day and then just stops. The 4th of July changed forever on the day that Sally left. However, 18-year-old Sally McNelly didn't just leave. She was murdered. It leaves a, an empty place that you learn to live around, but it never goes away. She and her boyfriend, Shane Stewart, went to watch the fireworks display at Lake Nasworthy in 1988 and never came back. It's a constant reminder of the end of Sally's life. Pat and Bill are Sally's parents. They make the trip from East Texas to San Angelo on holidays, including Sally's birthday, to visit their daughter, whose murder case has yet to be solved. Everybody's gone on with their lives, except these two kids and the families and friends associated with it. The case is still being investigated by the Tom Green County Sheriff's Office, the Texas Rangers, and the FBI. Law enforcement isn't gonna rest, and we're not gonna rest, and we're not gonna give up. Law enforcement's not going to give up. Even though there have been several leads and major breakthroughs, the Wades say someone has that final piece of information. There are people with information, um, people directly um, connected need to stand forward. It's time to step up. 30 years is long enough. 30 years is too long. This case that has just turned three decades old has garnered national attention and also sparked some misconceptions. There was a lot of talk in the early days about satanic cults. That was a big deal back then. And, and there was, I think, maybe a little bit of deliberate misdirection or maybe just rumor and innuendo. The Wades have heard it all, but something they have yet to hear is a confession. A lot of people have said, you know, it's time to just uh, move on, forgive those that, that did this and how, you know, freeing forgiveness is. Forgiveness is not freeing uh, in this situation. Justice is freeing, justice for these two kids. Forgiveness implies there's somebody asking for it, somebody with remorse in their heart and a, a true de desire to, to do what they can to make amends, and we haven't seen that. As far as I'm concerned, there is no forgiveness. If, if God chooses to forgive them, that's between them and God. But it's not in my heart and I doubt it ever will be.